Hi, in today's video, I'm going to compare two very popular website building platforms, WordPress.com and Wix.com. They are very different, each has their own strengths and each has their own weaknesses. Which one is better? Watch this video to find out. Now, there's going to be a lot of information packed into this video, so buckle your seatbelt and get ready to take some notes. Let's get started. Here is a chart I made in a spreadsheet comparing WordPress and Wix, their free website offerings. Okay, let's look at the features here. We got storage space. WordPress offers three gigabytes of storage space. Wix offers 500 megabytes of storage space. Winner, WordPress. Okay, bandwidth. WordPress offers unlimited bandwidth for any website. Wix offers one gigabyte of bandwidth for their free service. Winner, WordPress. Can you transfer to a new web host if you get tired of either WordPress.com or Wix? With WordPress, yes, you can. You can transfer to a new web host and continue using the WordPress software. You're free to leave and continue using the awesome software. With Wix, can you leave and go to a different web host? No, not unless you completely start your entire website project over from scratch. Winner, WordPress. That's a big one right there, folks. Can you change templates? With WordPress, yes, anytime. A few months down the road, if you're tired of the way your site looks, feel free to just try out a new theme. With Wix, you cannot do that. You have to start over completely with a new name. Winner, WordPress. Okay, are there ads on your website? Yes, with WordPress, there are ads that appear on posts. They are quite ugly and you never know what's gonna be in them. That's a big downer for WordPress, but they don't usually appear on pages and often you don't see them at all, so that's good. With Wix websites, you have Wix banners on the top and the bottom of all pages. I would say, that is a tie. Mobile friendliness. WordPress is very mobile friendly. If you look at WordPress websites on a mobile phone, for the most part, if they are using a modern theme, the website will be responsive. It will look great on any device. Wix, not so much. If you look at Wix websites on a mobile phone, you will see all sorts of problems. Winner, WordPress. I just looked up websites made with Wix and I pulled up the first one I found and I put it onto a site called mobiletest.me and you can see what a website will look like on a mobile phone. This is what this Wix website looks like on a mobile phone. This is the main page. So to actually see it, you have to scroll down. I don't see any text on here. Oh, I see some up at the top here. In order to see the rest of it, I have to scroll to the right. Not exactly what I would consider mobile friendly though. Let's try another Wix website on this test page. Okay, so I just pulled up a second Wix website that I found on Google, and I opened it up on this page to see what it would look like on a mobile device, and here's what it looks like. Again, to see it, you have to scroll down, and there's a Wix banner at the bottom, and then to see the rest of it, you have to scroll to the right. Now, are all Wix websites like this? I don't think so, and there's another Wix banner there. I'm sure some of them render properly on a mobile device, but these are the first two I've tested. And I also tested a bunch earlier today on my phone. A few worked, but the majority did not look right on a mobile device. Let's test one more. Okay, here's the third website I've looked at. Um, this one here, you can barely see the menu. It's tiny on the phone. And there's a huge Wix ad at the bottom and it doesn't even look like a real website. Let's click one of these links and see what happens. Again, everything is just tiny for some reason. And this again is the problem I find with most of the Wix websites on mobile. They just don't resize properly and they don't they, they just simply are not responsive. I, I, I think I just have to check out at least one more. Here's the last one I'm gonna look at, and this one is bakeyouhappy.com. And it's actually a pretty cool website. It looks great on my computer. But again, when I look at it on the phone, it looks like we're looking at the full version of the site on the phone. It is not responsive. It does not shrink down and look the way it should on a phone. Looks like number five, we finally hit the jackpot. Here's Maverick Thought. Maverick Thought something or other. This actually looks pretty good here. I can see the title, I can see this. I don't have to scroll left or right to see anything. I've got my social media icons here. Let's click here. Looks good. I like it. This one actually is responsive and looks good on a mobile phone. There we go, a menu that I can see the whole thing. 
It's nice. Okay, this is great. I finally found a Wix website that works well on a mobile device. One out of five. Not a real good success rate there. Just so you don't think I'm trying to pull a fast one on you, I want you to go to this URL right here, wix.com forward slash sample forward slash website. This is wix.com's showcase page where they put websites they want to showcase. So you can scroll through these and check them out. I recommend checking all these out on your mobile device. Then I want you to go to this URL here. This is wordpress.org forward slash showcase. This is WordPress's showcase page where they put websites that they want to showcase. I recommend checking these websites out and then looking at them on a mobile device. See which ones you prefer and see which ones look good and which ones do not. So moving on from mobile friendliness to subscription service. WordPress offers a subscription service. Your users can subscribe and get automatic notifications of your new posts via email. Wix does not offer a subscription service. Winner, WordPress, cost, they are both free. That's a draw. Domain name upgrade, that is $18 per year if you purchase your domain name through WordPress, which I wouldn't do. And it's $4.08 per month, which is $48.96 per year with Wix. Uh, I definitely wouldn't do that. Winner, WordPress. Domain privacy protection, $8 per year with WordPress. Again, that's a high price. I wouldn't do it. And it's $9.90 per year uh, with Wix. At least that's what I think it is. I looked all over the Wix website for this information. Couldn't find it anywhere. I finally found it in an old um, Wix forum post with some user who was also searching for the information. So I think that's accurate, but I don't really know. Anyway, winner here, WordPress. But I wouldn't get your domain name or your domain name privacy protection through either of these companies if I were you, and I'll talk a little bit about that later. Domain name mapping is free with WordPress. In other words, if you have a domain name already, you can connect it to your WordPress.com website. Um, that costs $4.08 per month with Wix. Winner, WordPress. Custom CSS, altering your fonts and your colors, etc. WordPress.com does not offer that. You have to buy it as an upgrade. Wix does not offer that either. That is a draw. E-commerce. Are they e-commerce ready? No, the WordPress.com free offering is not e-commerce ready, and neither is the Wix.com free offering. That's a draw. We already talked about mobile friendliness. I just decided to include this twice. Winner, WordPress. Support. You get your support through the WordPress community, and with Wix, you get your support through the Wix community. I would say that's a draw, depending on which community you think is better. Drag and drop creation. In other words, how easy is it to actually create your website with these free services? Well, WordPress does not have drag and drop creation. Wix does. So Wix is the winner in that category in terms of it being easy to create a website. Yes, Wix is easy to use. That's pretty awesome. But as you have seen, the fact that you have granular control over each element on your website does lead to problems with mobile devices. And you have seen that. So. You can say that the winner there is Wix. Really, it might be a draw. A fave icon, that's a little tiny icon on the tabs on the browser. Neither WordPress.com nor Wix.com offer that in their free versions. That's a draw. Okay, so now let's compare the premium plans that WordPress.com offers and the premium plans that Wix offers. WordPress premium plan. You have your own domain name, but you have to pay extra for privacy protection. You have the ability to edit your site's CSS. In other words, you can have custom fonts and colors and things like that. There are no ads whatsoever. You have 13 gigabytes of storage. You have VideoPress, which allows you to upload videos directly to your website with no watermarks and things like that. But you do have limited space there with your video uploads. And you have direct email support. That's going to cost you $99 per year. Now, WordPress also has a business plan. They will give you access to all their premium themes. You can have e-commerce on your site. These are a couple of the vendors that do the e-commerce for WordPress. You have VideoPress again, but you get to store unlimited videos. You have unlimited storage space. You have live chat support, but it is not 24 seven live chat support. It's just during working hours. And then they include access to Google Analytics, which really isn't even a feature because anybody can use Google Analytics if you have a Google account. 
that is $299 per year. Now, domain name, is there a renewal price for additional years? I, I couldn't find this on the WordPress website, so I'm not sure. But it looks like what they're saying is that you get your own domain name for free with the premium plan. I don't know if that's year after year or not, but I do think you need to pay extra for privacy protection, so an additional $8 per year. Okay, now let's take a look at the Wix premium plans. The first plan they have is the Connect Domain Plan. This plan allows you to connect your own domain name. That's pretty much the only difference between the free version of Wix and this plan. It costs you $4.08 per month if you purchase a year up front. Otherwise, it costs $6.90 per month. So the annual cost is either $48.96 or $82.80 if you pay monthly. Um, Google Analytics, like I said, is not a feature, so I don't know why these guys keep calling it a feature. Premium support, I don't know what that means. I think it means that your email support ticket is answered before folks with a free website, but that doesn't mean it's gonna be fast. You have 500 megabytes of storage still and one gigabyte of bandwidth. If you move up to their combo plan, it includes all the features of the Connect plan, except that you get to remove the Wix ads now. You get a customized fav icon, which is the little icon on the tabs in the browser. You don't have mobile ads. You have three gigabytes of storage space now and two gigabytes of bandwidth. Now, that is $9.25 per month if you pay for a year in advance. Otherwise, it's $12.95 per month if you pay monthly. The annual cost is either going to be $111 or $155.40. Next, we move up to their unlimited plan. You get the Site Booster app, which is an app that I think helps you with your site's SEO, which is Search Engine Optimization. You also get a Form Builder app. I'm not sure why that's included as a feature because there are a lot of free form builders out there. You get 10 gigabytes of storage now and unlimited bandwidth. That is $12.42 per month if you pay a year in advance or it's $15.95 per month. The annual cost is either $149.04 or $191.40. Then we move up to their e-commerce plan. Now you have an online store. Now you have 20 gigabytes of storage and you have 10 gigabytes of bandwidth, which moves down from their unlimited plan. That is 16.17 per month if you pay a year in advance, $19.90 per month. Annual cost, $194.04 or $238.80. Then you have their best plan, which is their VIP plan. You get priority callback, which is not 24 seven. You get instant response, Again, not 24 seven. And I've looked on their sites and seen people asking, what does instant response mean? Because I posted a question a half an hour ago and I don't have a response. So I'm not sure what instant response exactly means. You get 20 gigabytes of storage and unlimited bandwidth. That is $24.92 per month if you pay for a year in advance and $29.90 per month if you pay monthly. The annual cost is either $299.04 or $358.80. For a domain name, it's about $15 per year. Again, I, I couldn't really find that information on their site, but that's the domain renewal price. And then, like I said, privacy protection is, I think, about $9.90 per year. So, there are the WordPress premium plans versus the Wix premium plans. But, I have another option for you. Okay, so you're watching this video. That means you want a website. There is another option for you. You can use WordPress with a web host. I recommend InMotion Hosting. They're the host that I use myself for all my websites. Look at the benefits of using your own web host and using the WordPress software. Hosting is $3.49 per month. That's less than a latte. Your domain name is gonna be about $10 per year and privacy protection is gonna be just a couple dollars per year with a registrar like Namecheap. There are no domain name or domain mapping restrictions whatsoever. Google Analytics is not really a feature. I'm not sure why I even included that. There are never any ads on your website anywhere. You get 24 seven free all the time, in-house technical support via chat or via phone. You have unlimited storage space, unlimited bandwidth. Your site is e-commerce ready. Well, if you get the pro plan, it's $4.49 per month with my link in the description instead of $3.49 per month. Basically, you just get additional databases, which you probably will need for an e-commerce website. You can use any platform you want, even if it's not WordPress. Custom CSS, yes, you can 
alter your CSS in any way you see fit, and you can also alter any other code on your entire website and totally blow the thing up if you want. You can have a whole bunch of email accounts in the form of uh, whatever name you choose at yourdomain.com. InMotion provides free backups with all accounts. Most web hosts actually charge for that. You get 25 subdomains with InMotion's cheapest plan. That is subdomain.yourdomain.com. It's basically like having another website almost. And of course, you can have a fave icon. I'm just putting that in there for kicks because of course you can have a fave icon with any website that has a web host. And to get all this, you only have to pay about $50 per year. Are there any cons to using your own web host? Yes, of course, there are cons and pros to every decision you make. The cons of using a web host as opposed to a system like WordPress.com or Wix.com is that it's going to be a little bit more technical. You have to pay more attention to security, backups, and things like that. And since you can edit the code in any way you see fit, you have to be careful when you're making changes. There's a lot more to it, but it is a lot more dynamic and it's a lot more expandable and it's a lot more full featured than anything you're ever going to get through WordPress.com or Wix.com. Okay, I'm going to admit that this review is not completely unbiased. I'm a big WordPress fan and I'm not a huge Wix fan. Let me tell you a few of my biggest problems with Wix. Number one, if you start with Wix, you're stuck with Wix. That's not the case with WordPress.com. You can start with them and then decide that you want your own web host later and you can still use the WordPress software on your new web host. That is not the case with Wix. If you start with Wix, you're stuck with Wix, even if you don't like them. Number two, Wix websites don't typically render well on a mobile device. If you don't believe that, go to Google, type in Wix website examples, go to your mobile phone and look at all those websites. And believe me, you're going to see a ton of problems. A ton. Number three, the Wix e-commerce solution is not the best. It is not robust at all. And if you go with Wix and expect their e-commerce solution to be all-encompassing, you're going to be sorely disappointed I believe. I also don't like that there is no subscription service offered with Wix. If I am a website owner and I'm sending out blog posts every week, I want my site subscribers to be updated automatically of my new posts. Wix doesn't have that feature, but WordPress does. Also, I don't like the fact that once you pick a theme in Wix, you cannot change that theme later, even if you want to change up the look and feel of your site. That is so limiting that it, it, it's totally unacceptable, in my opinion, for a serious website owner. So, I say go for WordPress. Beyond all that, I think that you should go with WordPress and a web host because then you get everything we talked about today at a very low cost for about a sixth of the cost of either of these platforms, WordPress.com or Wix.com. You can still use the WordPress software and have access to thousands of plugins, thousands of themes, and you have no limitations on your website if you get your own web host, your own domain name, and then use the WordPress software. That's the way to go. So I hope you found this review helpful today, and I hope that you make the right decision with your website. Let me know how it goes in the comments.